get better, but it's worth it when the end thing comes. The Bible said in Luke uh, 21 and 28, it said, and when these things begin to come to pass, the things that we're turning from, yeah. he said, when these things come to pass, he said, then look up and lift up your heads and your redemption shall draw nigh. Amen. What are you talking about this evening? I'm telling you that the, re the turning point is coming. And the only way that we're going to be able to stand through this evil world which we live in is we're going to have to turn from things and we're going to have to look up unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. <laughs> I was thinking uh, Genesis 1 said, in the beginning, God, uh, but then in 2 and one is saying God ended. Amen. I begin to think about how that that works. Uh, of the God of beginning but he's also the God of endings. Uh, he can end your life. Uh, he can end the things that's going on in it. Uh, uh, but the good thing is I begin to think about looking up. Uh, I was watching Jason while I was singing. Uh, he walked back into the middle and just began to look up. Uh, uh, what was he doing? He was looking for his power to draw nigh. Uh, uh, he was looking for something to come down uh, and so he could feel the power of God. Uh, I begin to think about Stephen when he was out there. Uh, they were stoning him. Uh, and the Bible said Stephen looked up into the heaven. Uh, and the heavens rolled back. Uh, and he said he seen Jesus. Uh, and he was standing by the throne uh, of the Father. Uh, he's waiting on you. Uh, all you got to do is look up uh, unto Jesus uh, and turn away. Uh, and when we look up unto him, uh, he'll be our Alpha. Uh, he'll be our Omega. Uh, he'll be the beginning. Uh, and he'll be the Oh, Daniel down there, uh, thrown down into the den. Uh, but I believe the king came, uh, and I believe Daniel looked up, uh, and he said, Oh, king, uh, I live forever. Uh, amen. The devil thought he had us. Uh, he put us down into a pen, uh, but I looked up uh, under Jesus, uh, and the devil said, Are you alive? Uh, I said, Oh, devil, uh, I'm going to live forever. Uh, oh, but I begin to think, uh, Oh, David out there uh, with just a slingshot. Uh, and a couple stones. He couldn't have killed the giant. It's impossible. Oh, but I believe as he walked up through there, I believe Goliath said, look at this little punk looking at me. He's not looking at you, Goliath. He's looking at something higher. Higher than I. But David said, I look under the hills for which cometh my help. Amen. We got to look up under him. Oh, but... Amen. But the Bible said, it said they looked, and it said they came, and they said, oh no. He said, why weepest thou? She said, you are Lord is gone, and we don't know what you've done with him. And he looked at her and said, Mary, and she realized who he was. Oh, but what I like better than that is sometimes we'll stand around, and we'll keep looking up, and his presence is already here. Oh, he came to them men, and he said, why stand ye here gazing? Amen. Into the heaven. And he said, like clouds, and he went away. He's coming back again. And early on the dawn of a new day. Amen. The Bible said, on that early Sunday morning, at the crown began to shake, at the stone was run away, and he arisen, a living king forever. What are you doing, preacher? I'm looking up. I'm looking to Jesus, the author, the finisher of my thing. And what are you looking at? How's it work? And in my department, there ain't nobody in there saying, there ain't nobody knows anything. And cussing all around. God worked with us cussing Christians and saying this. I just stopped my machine and I was just looking up. He walked over and laughed and slapped me and said, what are you doing? I said, I'm just looking up. He didn't know what I was doing. Oh, but I need a redeemer. I needed someone that could come down. And then someone that can ease the pain. And someone that when that temptation comes, I can look unto him. And he said, don't you worry. He said, come unto me. All ye. Who's he talking about? Every one of you. And will follow God. Just look up. And it'll be okay. Amen. Oh, oh but I think. Oh, what in their name? Amen. You pray for me. What in their name? Uh, Ananias, uh, Azariah, and Michelle. Yeah. And the king said, we're going to give you a new name. I like to refer to them as their godly name. Yeah. Amen. But they were thrown into the fire. 
and I believe this is in the fire. I believe they was going in and they was bound down. Oh, but I believe their head, it was a looking up. Amen. Why? Because they knew that they served a God. A God they had enough faith in. And when it came time at the end of their road, they had a place they could turn to. They had a turning point in their life one night. Amen. And when they got in the fire, they said, did we not throw three men in the fire? Or they said, yeah. He said, well, there's four men. And they're loose walking around. And he said, one of them I look like to the Son of God. Oh, what are you talking about? They was a looking up. And they called on their God. And he never failed. He never will. He'll be faithful until the end. Amen. Are you looking up? Or you got your head up? And saying, God, I need you. Oh, people say, I don't tell people they need to be broken under God. When you get broken and you're laying flat on your back, the only place to look, it's up. And I want you to know, oh, Joseph, he was the loved one. Amen. The his brothers got jealous. And they said, Father, he's dead. And they took him. They took him down there and sold him. Oh, but I begin to think about old Joseph. He went to the pit. He went to the king's house. He went back down. Oh, but then at the end, he was raised up to be one of the highest of that country. Oh, what are you trying to say? What are you doing, Joseph? Oh, why are you still faithful? He said, because I'm not looking up. He ain't looking at the circumstance. He's looking at what's coming. Oh, but if you keep your head up. I see the Bible says that Jacob, when his son died, just like any father, he was sad. Oh, but I believe if I, someone told my dad I was dead, I believe my dad would say, I have to see it to believe it. Uh, my baby ain't dead. I believe Jacob may have walked around and he had his head up and uh, saying, maybe uh, one day he'll come home. And the Bible said that Jacob, he looked out and he seen his boy. And the Bible said, and he fell as a dead man. Amen. He been looking up all this time. A cancer in your life. A sickness going wild. I just keep looking up. Because after a while, everything will be over. After a while, the dark clouds will pass. And here at a while, we'll begin to shout. Hallelujah. After a while. Why? Because our head is up. And we're looking unto him. Amen. You got your head up? Are you looking unto the King of Kings? Unto the Lord of Lords? Let me tell you one more thing. And I'll come to a close. Hey Amen. I begin to think when I was in my wreck. Hey Amen. Everybody in there. Everybody got quiet. First thing I did when the impact. I said, Jesus, hey, amen, I needed someone. I was sitting in the middle console, a no seatbelt, nothing keeping me out of the windshield. Everybody else went a flying, and my honey never left the sea. Oh, what was you doing? I was looking under Jesus, and I heard one man say, he said, who are these people? I went through great tribulation. He said, thou knowest well uh, who these people are. And God said, yeah, I do. He said, these are they. I went through great a tribulation. Amen. They went through troubles. They went through trials. Who are these people? All of those that the blood's been applied. All of those. Amen. That's just in life. Every tongue. Every kindred. Amen. After a while, it'll be over. But keep looking up for your redemption's coming. Preach it. Amen. You got your head looking up.